Hey everyone, welcome to Plants and Politics. So I have a quick update on the Jean-Luc Brunel story. Uh, apparently he needs a new attorney because his longtime lawyer, Corinne Dreyfus Schmidt, has finally ditched him. Brunel, of course, is the accused pedophile, accused rapist, child sex trafficker, who was good friends with Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell. And uh, as I mentioned on the show, he was taken into custody last week by the French police. The fact that she's dropping him appears to be the result of a few things. First off, French authorities confirm that they have recent allegations of rape against him, which would fall within the statute of limitations. So up until more recently, it was believed that the majority of these claims against him, these allegations, were too old to be prosecuted and would have faced issues because of the statute of limitations. So these are more recent. So, you know, the leopard doesn't change his spots. They also formally brought charges against Brunel this past weekend. That was announced. At, and, you know, last week he was taken into custody, but he was essentially just held for questioning. So now there are officially charges against him. Also, Brunel made a fool pretty much out of Dreyfus Schmidt when he attempted to flee the country last week. Now, of course, some people say, oh, he wasn't fleeing the country. He was just trying to go on vacation because COVID has kept him under lockdown. Well, COVID's been keeping everyone under lockdown and actually COVID just started to rage again throughout the world. So why would he all of a sudden decide to take off to a country, by the way, with no extradition treaty with France? But his attorney had promised authorities after Epstein's death that Brunel was available for questioning. He wasn't a fugitive. And she made it out like he was completely innocent. And, you know, they didn't understand why People were so worried about him taking off and why the media was portraying it as he was on the run, even though he was bouncing around from place to place and staying with various friends. So I will let you know as soon as I hear any more, but I don't know who's going to be <laughs> fearless enough to take on this case, but we'll see. And then I'm still waiting for word about Ghislaine Maxwell and her bail hearing. No word yet as to what the judge plans on doing with her. I can't imagine being the flight risk that she is, that the judge is going to allow it and allow, and allow her out of prison. But stranger things have happened. So anyway, we will see. I'll keep you guys posted. As always, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching and listening. I'll talk with you soon. Take care. Thanks for listening to Plants and Politics. The only way we can take our country and power back is to spread the truth and build an army. So remember to like, follow, subscribe, and share on Facebook, YouTube, and wherever you listen to your podcasts. Thanks again.